Okay, we're gonna look at math with confidence today. I wanna start by saying that we started the year with Christian Light Education for first grade, and we got almost all the way through it. It, um, it, was, it started very gentle and was a really great fit for my daughter. When we got about halfway through, it picked up the pace quite a bit. Um, and as we got towards the end, and I was looking ahead to level two, I knew that we weren't ready to move forward. So I wanted to back up a little bit, try a different approach to kind of fill in some gaps um, and go from there. So that's why I found Math of Confidence. We've been using it for about four weeks now. So this is not a full review. I'm just wanting to show you what's inside, but I might kind of share how it's working with us uh, for us so far. Okay, I wanna start with the instructor guide because I think um, it's gonna make more sense when you see this first and then the student book. Um, obviously, when you start it, there's an introduction as well as some information about how to use the book. And um, I don't wanna go over every little detail because I feel like you'll see it as I show you some more of the book. I do like that there's this little question and answer section. Um, for example, what do I do if we're frustrated? What if it's taking too long? And that sort of thing. So that's in the beginning as well. And then this page I do want to stop on for a second because it talks about everything you need for your math kit. And this is kind of like all of the manipulatives. If you look at it like this, it's very overwhelming, especially because it continues onto this page. I hope to show you kind of how um, I'm doing mine so you can see it. Um, as a visual and it's been easier for me to build as we go instead of just starting with all of this at once. Let's take a look at a unit. This is unit one. It starts with an overview. You'll see she puts it um, into weeks. I don't really pay attention to that right now because I'm moving at the pace of my daughter and we've been able to move through this first part pretty quickly, but that is there. You'll see what the child learns, and I love this recommended math picture books. Notice these are optional, but this is a great thing to do if you want to if you're starting a unit and you want to put these on hold at your library. She does have quite a few for each unit. Next is a week overview. I don't really pay attention to this, but that information is there, and then we get into a lesson. Up here is kind of an overview of the lesson, which includes your warm-up activities and what's happening in the workbook. And then right away you start your warm-up. You'll see all the bold text is the stuff that you say out loud. And um, these warm-ups right here, it looks really short, but I'll show you in a different lesson kind of how it builds. And then we get into the activities. Let's look at a lesson kind of further into the book so you can see how this warm-up really works. You'll see it includes counting, memory work, and review. And so, for example, in this one, the memory work has to do with pennies and nickels. And then it even will say something like play guess the secret number, which is one of her games. So you'll play that before the lesson begins. Now, when you get into the activity, she breaks it down step by step. And she even has these little pictures to help you use the same visuals that she uses. Um, there are usually a couple examples and then she'll say, okay, now do that with these other problems so that you're able to repeat the process. And most days, not all days, there's usually some sort of game or activity to reinforce the skill that you practice or that you're practicing on that week. And then it gets into the workbook. I want to mention that her games are in these little boxes like this, so they're easy to see. I also want to mention that the lessons, the weeks are made up into four day weeks and on the fifth day is an enrichment and review. So this is an optional lesson. A lot of times it has a book, maybe a simple activity. I have not used this. I usually just move on to the next week unless I think something in here is necessary to help my child. At the end of the week are the answer keys to the lessons for that week. Okay, hang with me. I'm gonna show you now what's in the back of the book. You've got your complete memory work list, so all the things that you will be memorizing as well as the weeks that you're practicing it. You have also have a complete picture book list. How nice is that? Lots of good literature there. I skipped a page. This is the scope and sequence. Okay, and then you also have a materials list game list and extra board games. This is nice if you wanna practice a certain skill and figure out what game is for that skill. There's a second page for that. And then finally, she has all the game boards and extra pieces and black lines and stuff for you to use for your manipulatives. 
Okay, I feel like this is gonna be easy to share. This is the student workbook. And basically what there is to know is that the very first page practices the skill that you practiced in the instructor guide. So whatever you did there, that is for the first page, that new skill. Then on the back side is review. So this is stuff that your child has already practiced before. So this book is actually a combination of mastery and I guess maybe spiral because it is grouped. Um, for example, this is the subtraction chapter. So you're learning subtraction each day for a certain number of weeks, but each day you're also doing a couple of review problems on the back. Um, I will just start kind of flipping through so you can see that the book is really colorful. It's co uh, color coded by the unit that you're in. And just so you can kind of see some different pages here. The last thing I wanna do is kind of just show you how the skills progress because that's something that I like to see when I look at textbooks. Um, so this is just kind of the first couple of lessons. You can see we're just doing patterns and numbers. Then let's jump to the middle. That's that subtraction unit I was just showing you. And then we can keep going. We've got some graphing. And then as you get to the back, we've got time. And I wanna kind of show you how the addition and subtraction progresses as well. There's some bigger numbers there. And if we go towards the last lessons, these are kind of the last few. I said the last thing, but I definitely have just a little bit more. This table of contents might have been better to show you. You can see we're doing numbers to 10, addition, subtract into 10, 20, numbers to 100, addition facts to 20, and then towards the end, there was some mental math in there. Um, that's kind of what I was showing you there. I do wanna show you some of the manipulatives and extra things. This is the binder that I've put together that has a lot of the game boards. Some of this is my stuff that I already had as well. Um, the, and I also put in here the addition facts that stick games. I, you've seen I've been doing that with my oldest daughter. I keep those in here too because they actually overlap. I don't think you would want to do both at the same time, but they use some of the same games. And so that's nice. So you can see I only have a few and I just build this as we use it. Everything else I keep on this cart and I actually didn't even clean it for you guys so you can see it in all of its glory. <laughs> um, this is our logic of English stuff, but everything else is pretty much math. I did have to buy these pattern blocks. Um, she uses them quite a bit and I see that they are very helpful and my little ones love them too, but I do find them all over my house. So that's fun. And then I have um, this bucket here. This is not um, organized in a pretty way, but uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is. I've got some counters. I've got dice, um, a deck of cards. We use a deck of cards almost every day. And then I have these little cubes here and we use these all the time as counters as well. These are actually base 10 blocks, um, but they're great for counters also. And then in the bottom, I have some change. So I have to do a lot of digging every day, but all the stuff is in here. Um, I'm sure there's a better way to organize it, but that's not my, um, uh, what's the word? I know it was a lot, but I am just hoping that this really gives you a good look at the curriculum. I know when I'm searching for curriculum, I always just wanna get my hands on it and flip through those pages. And I hope that by sharing what I share here, it kind of makes you feel that you kind of get a chance to do that. As a little review of how it's going the last few weeks, we are loving it so far. With confidence is no joke. Her confidence has grown tremendously. I think the most important part is we have fun. I look forward to teaching it and she looks forward to doing it. And the visualization method that she uses for the tin frames has been so helpful for my daughter, a lot more helpful than the flashcard and drill method that we were using with Christian Light. So overall, so um, the last few weeks, we are really happy with it. If you want a little taste of math with confidence without committing to the curriculum, I would recommend addition facts that stick. By using that, you're gonna get a really good feel of the games that she has, as well as the different methods that she uses to help memorize facts. So um, I think you can find that for maybe like 12 bucks and um, it would be a good opportunity for you to try the, her methods before you actually fully commit.